Hello all and welcome to Wow Crochet yet again for another tutorial. My name is Mary and I can't fit this blanket in by the way. <laughs> and in today's tutorial we are working on the border row, rows, it's two of them, of our blanket. I mean look at that, isn't it not gorgeous? Yes it is. I love, love, love. Turned out gorgeous. I think, and in fact I mentioned at the end of the tutorial as well, we could do another row. <laughs> I, I really do. I'm sorry, guys. I think of these things up afterwards. We could do another row on the border. And I'm seriously thinking about it. And you can let me know if you want. You have to be more of an avid crocheter to do this border row. And all it would be would be single crochets over all of what we've done here so far. Get to the middle of this really high treble stitch. Do a pico. And then single crochet, keep going. High stitch, pico, single crochet, keep going. High stitch, pico. When you get to here, you can do two picos, three, you can do one. That's if you want to do that border. Guys, the border's actually complete. Okay, I wouldn't do it. However, <laughs> listen to me, I make too much work for myself, I really do. So um, if you wanted to do that particular border, please let me know. But at the moment, I would say that this blanket is now complete. Doesn't it look gorgeous? Oh. And so that you know, uh, the blanket measures 99 centimetres squared, because it's a square blanket, um, or 39 inches square. You, you could do yours larger if you wanted to do it larger. Just keep going with your double crochets, meaning your, um, your cluster sets, okay? Just keep going each row, keep changing it until you get to this tutorial today and then you do what we've done what we've done today which we're going to do today um, a row of single crochet and then this particular gorgeous gorgeous border okay so I did one row in blue and then I did the uh, waves here in white all right or cream I use the same colors obviously and the same dialogues doesn't matter you can use whatever you like okay <laughs> I always say that just in case people say but I don't want to use white and blue <laughs> <laughs> all right so check it out I can't fit it all in I'm trying to fit it all in without you know the lighting going bad because that's what happens when you're trying to get it all in when you're indoors so there you go yay <laughs> very nice I love 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 so guess what guys I'm not going to talk anymore but I will just let you know one thing I only used three quarters on it's a bit of a mess that skein sorry <laughs> I only used three quarters of a skein for the white and I only used about 15, 20 grams, which is not even a quarter of a skein for the, oh no, it's just under a half, I should say. Just under a half a skein for the blue. So there you go, check it out. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And do we love it or what? Well, I do anyway. Um, but, you know, if you want that extra border, just let me know. I'm not going to talk anymore, guys. We are just going to get started with our border. For this tutorial, you'll need the hook that you made your blanket with. So we're using the same size hook. You will need your scissors. You will need your darning needle, sewing weaving needle, whichever you want to call it. And uh, that's it, guys. Gorgeous. Look at that. Anyway, let's stop talking and let's get making. Good luck, guys. Alrighty, guys. As mentioned in the promo, I'm going to use the blue as the first part of the border. If you want your final border row to be blue, then you need to use the white now. Okay, but because I want my border row to be white, I'm going to use the blue now. And we are going to start in any corner that you see. Any corner, no fuss and no bother. Just pop your hook in, grab a loop. It's probably too far in now, sorry. Grab a loop, pull the loop through. Okay, grab your little tail end as we've been doing all along. Pop it over your, you don't have to, this just helps me lock it into place. But the stitch is very, very basic. First you're going to chain one just to lock everything into place. Maybe move that chain over a little bit. Yeah. Now we do a single crochet. That's pop your hook in the space. Pull up a loop. Two loops on your hook. Yarn over your hook. Pull through two loops on your hook. Now I'm crocheting over that tail. It's not necessary for you to do that. Um, but I'm doing that anyway. Alright. So. We're going to do a second one, hook through the space, pull up a loop, two loops on your hook, yarn over your hook, pull through both loops on the hook. Simple. We're going to do a third one. Easy. 
too easy. You can grab your tail end and pop it back, or you can continue crocheting over it if you like. Um, I might do a couple of stitches actually. That might. Oh, well, I'll show you the stitches. It's okay. I'll do it later. All right. Now, the way single crochets work on a blanket, we're not just going to jump into that stitch there. That stitch right here is actually a stitch. So move your single crochets over and you can actually see the stitch right there. All right. So these two loops are where we are putting our hook through. Just between the two loops, not through the whole space, not through the whole space but just those two little loops right there all right so that's what I'd like for you to do simple that stitch right there is a stitch so pop your hook in there grab a loop pull up a loop yarn over your hook pull through two you're going to do the same in the next stitch easy it is easy this is a very quick and basic stitch shouldn't take you long to pop a border row on your blanket okay shouldn't take you long at all all right so what i would like for you to do just do me a quick favor now and just put single crochets all the way across until you get to your first the first section here or even you know your last stitch and meet me there at that first corner and then i'll show you what you're going to do next all right here we are at the end of the first side right here <laughs> let me blow this up for you so you can see all right we have one two three stitches left there we're going to put our single crochets in all of them across one two and three that is a last stitch right there just before the corner now you've got your corner all you need to do there is pop in three single crochets one two and three now remember what i showed you before how this isn't the first stitch this one tucked right in here is your first stitch so if you want to pull your single crochets over if that helps and then pop your hook in and do your single crochet in that stitch right there i just wanted to show you that stitch before i sent you off on your own to finish the rest of this row um, because i didn't want you to miss that stitch it's a very important stitch towards the end otherwise you'll be short Oh, it doesn't really matter because I always do patterns that are a little bit forgiving anyway. Just continue along all the way across the whole blanket now. That's what I would like for you to do. Continue along the blanket, get to your very next corner and do your three single crochets and then continue along around, get right back to that very first whatever it is, I can't even find it now, stitch that we did before. And, and I'll meet you up at the end of this row. And then we've got one more row left to do for this whole blanket. Yay! <laughs> Very exciting. I love a border row. Catch you in a moment. All right, guys. How long did that take you? <laughs> Just finish off the row with a few stitches. And I had plenty of yarn to spare, which is great. Um, maybe we'll make some booties or something or a beanie. Ooh, we could do all that in the future. Stop making more trouble for yourself, Mary. <laughs> finish the job you need to finish. All right, here we go. This is your last stitch here, right there. What you're going to do, remember our three single crochets that we made here? All you need to do is find the very first. We probably should have popped a little stitch marker in it, but it doesn't matter. Find your very first single crochet, and hopefully yours is not as tight as mine. Pop your hook through and just pull a loop through that single crochet yes pull it through the loop on your hook yes now pull up a loop grab your little scissors and mine are little <laughs> cut it pull your thread through like that and we're going to weave that in but not now we're going to weave that in after we do this next row now the reason being is because the next row will actually cover a lot of it and then we can weave that in a lot easier okay so now here's the fun bit guys we're going to start our next row now i don't know for my newbies joining me recently you may not know this but i never start a row on a row where there's already a tail end i go and find another corner Okay, so I will find another corner. You don't have to, you don't have to at all. You can start in the same corner, but yours truly does like to start in a new corner and I'm going to do that right now. So what you do is you grab yourself, you actually don't start in the corner with this, but what you do, let me show you with a pin so you can see where we are. All right, 
I actually counted it before, but what is probably easier for you to do, let me see if I can remember now. From there it's one, two, three, four. Oh yeah, okay. So best thing for you to remember when counting backwards in this area, we're not exactly starting from the corner anyway, um, but your middle, your middle single crochet is right there. All right, right there. Is it? Let's have a look. No, it's not one, two. There it is right there. Get it right, Mary. Okay, there's your second single crochet. So what you're doing is you're counting back by four. One, two, three, and four. Now to remember where you are, it really is just above that double crochet right there. We'll just pass that even, okay? It doesn't matter. Uh, as long as it's not too close to the edge, this part must start from roughly around there. So pop your hook in. Yes, and grab your little thread. Okay, I hope you like this stitch because I like it a lot. Okay, so you can, you know, wrap your thread around. It doesn't matter how you want to do it. Just chain one like we do all the time when we start something. And pop a single crochet in that same space as your chain one. Now, pop your little tail into the back if you want. All right. Now, there are a few steps to remember when doing this pattern. But once you get the pattern, it's really quite basic, okay? We are counting three single crochets across. So one, two, and three. I'm lying. We are, but first we're going to start with our normal double crochet. Get yourself ready for your normal double crochet. Count one, two, and three. And just pop your hook in that third stitch right there. Yes, pull up a loop and do a normal double crochet. Whoops, don't split the yarn. <laughs> All right, so there's your one. Now you're going to do another double crochet in that same stitch. Two, and again, three. It's all in the same stitch. Four, and five. All right. All right, so now what we're going to do, we're gonna skip one, two, and three. No, we're going to skip two and jump into our third one and do a single crochet in that third one. This next part of the stitch, you need to be a little careful about leaving this stitch too loose. We're going to be forming a treble, so it's yarn over your hook twice. Yes? Now, keeping everything nice and tight there, not too tight because you won't be able to perform your stitch, but this stitch here must be tight, your very first stitch, okay? So you're counting one, two, three, Hopping into your fourth one this time, pull up a loop. You should have three loops on your hook. Yarn of a hook, pull through the first two loops. Yarn of a hook, pull through the next two loops. I think I said three, I meant four. Yarn of your hook, pull through the last two loops. Get it right, Mary. <laughs> Do it again. Yarn of your hook twice. I'll say it right this time. Pop your hook through the loop, same loop, same space. Pull up a loop. Four loops on your hook. Thank you for getting it right this time, Mary. <laughs> Pull a loop through the first two loops, pull a loop through the second two loops, and pull a loop through the last two loops. All right, do that again, twice over your hook, pop it in the space, pull through two, pull through two, and pull through the last two. Do it again, pop it in the space, two, two, and the last two. So how many have we got? One, two, three, four. We need seven in that space. So you're going to do another three more. Okay. Okay. So that's what you have so far. Now you are skipping one, two, three, and in your fourth one, you're putting a single crochet. Now we're going back to that right there. So we're skipping three and we're going to put, not skipping three, we're skipping two and we're adding our stitches in the third one. So yarn over your hook. That's, that's a single crochet you just worked in that space. So your next one starts there. So it's one, two, and in that third one right there, you put your five double crochets. One, two, three, 
four and five now just before we continue I want to show you that stitch see right there it's a little bit loose see how that's nice and tugged now this one here's a little bit too loose try to not to make that transition into the next double crochet too loose all right I'm going to leave that it's not too bad it won't be that noticeable all right so now we are skipping one two and in your third one you are popping a single crochet yarn over your hook twice and you are skipping one two three and you're jumping into your fourth stitch with your treble I know a little bit tricky but you'll get it pop another treble and remember we are putting seven trebles and there's no rush I oh, know I'm going a bit fast sorry guys <laughs> I'm trying to speed up the blanket now because I know when it comes to the border rows I get really excited and I want to finish it quickly uh, let's do this one here and we'll do the next single crochet and then I'll tell you what you need to do not yet because we're not up to the single crochet not yet okay let's have a look see oh I don't know how many I've done I got too excited one two three four five six seven oh that was lucky I <laughs> didn't count that all right now you're skipping one two three you're jumping into your fourth single crochet I mean yes your fourth single crochet with a single crochet all right now I'm just going to pull up that loop and show you what you're going to do this is the easy part guys I mean look how gorgeous that looks I love 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 that's it that's all you're doing you're going that is the pattern from there to there there to there there to there all the way through this blanket what I would like for you to do now is this is the easy part just do the one side get to about three or four stitches away from the corner it doesn't matter what part of the pattern you're up to get to three or four stitches away from the corner and meet me there okay so your next stitch will be your small one see how the wave goes up like that your higher ones are your trebles and your lower ones are your doubles and your very very small ones are your singles your singles go in between each now this is a cluster so your singles go in between each cluster set all right so you got your double cluster set single treble cluster set single double single treble single and so on remember it's three stitches between there and four between the big ones all right giving you more space to work your trebles in i'm hoping that makes sense if not just keep watching this part that we just did over and over again get to this side right here about three or four stitches away and i shall meet you up all right guys here we go we started from there and we worked all the way to this side now you may find that it doesn't even up okay don't stress all right what you should have really is this last um, cluster the small cluster all right no I should say your single crochet see that single crochet right there that should be one two three and four okay so that means your last cluster should be one two three your cluster of five should be there all right but the way it looks I've got my cluster of seven it's not going to work so what I'm going to do just for this corner I'm going to take off one stitch you don't need to do this if you've got plenty see this is why we can actually I always do borders where I can actually adjust so I'm going to take off the one and I'm going to go one two three and jump into my third instead of the fourth just so that I can adjust here and then we're going to do one two I'm going to jump into the second one with whoops with four double crochets one two three four so what we're doing is we're just adjusting the stitch so that we can fit it all in if yours fits in where it all adds up at the end that's fine so we need we need to put one two three a single crochet one two three four roughly around there pop a single crochet in there roughly four stitches off the corner because that corner bit's going to be filled up with a whole lot of trebles in a minute okay so just adjust your stitches no one's going to notice one treble less or one double crochet less all right I hope that's helped and it's by bringing that one treble less we've moved it over a little bit by bringing the one double crochet less we've moved it over a little bit as well all right so now this is the big one guys 
we are going to put nine trebles in the middle of our corner. Now to find our corner. All right. Now, by the way, if you if yours evened up here, you didn't need to do all that here. Just heads up there. <laughs> all right. So here's our stitches. All right. Your first single crochet in the corner is that one right there. And your second is right there. So you need to, in fact, just start your treble by putting your two loops over. There's your first single crochet in the corner. And there is your second right in the middle of your corner. And you are popping nine trebles. It's going to be huge. So there's your first one. Two. You may find it may not match up at the end of the next row either. Side, I should say. Three. Whoops. Let's put the yarn like I'm doing. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. And nine. All right, and like any other stitch when you leave your trebles, you're counting one, two, three, and you're putting a single crochet in that fourth stitch right there. Yes, all right, and then you are one, two, and popping your cluster of five double crochets in your next one, two, Three, four, whoops, let's try that again, <laughs> four, and five. Sorry guys, I think it's a little awkward to hold at the moment, so I'm pushing and pulling at it, tugging all over the place. Okay, so skip one, two, three, single crochet in your third, I'm sorry, skip two and single crochet in your third. Then skip one, two, three. Well, get ready for your trebles. Skip one, two, three, and in your fourth one, you are popping your seven trebles. Two, three, four. Five, six, seven. Skip one, two, three, and four. Put a single crochet in there, pull up the loop, and let me show you what we've just done. All right, so with this blanket here, you know, it's okay to um, improvise, okay, on the corner. If you look far away, you cannot tell that you made one less there and one less there just to fit it all in. Nobody's going to know. Okay, easy, easy. So now what I would like for you to do, guys, this is the best bit. I'm not going to talk anymore, not for a while, <laughs> because you're going to head off on your own and you are going to do your whole blanket Meet me back around here, right where we first started from, roughly around three or four, you know, cluster sets before, and we will finish off our border. All right, guys. <laughs> did that take a year and a half or what? <laughs> it did. It did. It took a long time. <laughs> it wasn't too bad. I mean, you know, if I didn't make so many mistakes and have to go over the row again and again, I wouldn't have had a problem. What I kept doing was putting too many of these in. <laughs> And like here I had, I got to the end of the row and realised, wait a minute, I'm like, 
cluster short, a cluster different, what's, what's going on? And I couldn't work it out, so what I did was I measured up my clusters all along the way to see where I went wrong, and I ended up with two of these right here, and the row before it, not the row, the whole side before it, I had two of those right here. <laughs> what are the chances? Anyway, things happen, you make mistakes, you, you take it all undone and you move on. So there you go. <laughs> I could have left it um, it wouldn't have been too noticeable but because if you'd put like if I'd put an extra stitch in an extra double crochet or an extra treble that wouldn't have been noticeable putting that one and that one together would have been noticeable putting those two together would have been noticeable so I took them up <laughs> as you do and it because of that it put my count out as well and I found that the first row where we did together the count was out every other row the count wasn't so i have a funny feeling i've missed a stitch somewhere which happens never mind <laughs> let's get back to work okay my last section was a treble then i've done my single there and it's one two oops down over my hook one two three and do my whoa whoa cluster set there one two three, four, and five. Now, don't stress if it's a, like a couple off there, don't stress. As long as you, one, two, three, as long as you've got a single crochet before your big treble, nine treble, that does look a bit close, that doesn't it? Hang on, one, two, three, it's kind of three, isn't it? Hmm. Let's have a look, see, okay, there's one, there's one, that's it, that's one, two, yeah, it's a little close. So we're going to take that undone, and we're going to take this one undone too. So what I'm going to do, remember what I did in that first row, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six, yes, I skipped one, two, three instead of four and popped my single crochet. You don't need to do this, okay, you could have left it like that, it's fine. Um, one, two, and, oh, we did it in the second one, didn't we? Two. And then do four double crochets and not five. Now that's what I did in the very first row as well. So actually, these two sides match up. No, they don't. They don't match up. <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Put your single crochet in there. And now it kind of is even. Okay. Now you wrap your yarn around your finger twice. You find the center stitch of your three chain uh, three single crochets that's one that's one and there's one right in the middle you pop your nine in there one a little bit splitty the yarn now played with it too much <laughs> two oh well never mind three Put that out a bit Four. Better, you can see better now, yeah? <laughs> Five. Six. Seven. Oh, give me a second, guys. I fiddle with a blanket a bit. It's very big now, so it's hard to fit anywhere. <laughs> Eight. And nine. Beautiful. Whoops. There we go. And now instead of doing a single crochet anywhere, you don't even need to count. You just jump into that first single crochet that you did with a slip stitch. Pull the loop through. Pull up the loop. And give it a cut. Ta-da. Okay. Easy, easy. Now this to me is complete, right? However... If you are a more advanced crocheter, you can join me again in another week's time because look how much yarn I have left of my blue. And I thought, how cute, or you could use your white as well, how cute would this blanket look? And let me have a bit of a play so you can see what I mean. You don't have to, I just wanted to have a play. And you tell me if you like this, and if you do, I'll do a full tutorial on it next week. And you can see if you're interested in this, okay? So you do your normal single crochets across, like that, easy, easy. And what you do is you do a row of single crochets, 
all the way across your blanket. But when you get to that big set right there, all you're doing is doing, I mean, I'm happy to do the tutorial. I really would like to do it because I, I think the blanket would look nice with all these single crochets. Now, when you get to the very, very middle, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so you've got, you find the middle. So there's one, two, three, and that stitch right there in the middle. When you get to that one, we'll do another single crochet there. And we're right in the middle there. We're going to do a single crochet, chain one, two and three pico now this is not for um, newbies so this will be very difficult for you pico and then single crochet down I'm struggling to hold the blanket in place because I hadn't planned this had I planned it I would have just sorted the blanket out <laughs> and then just single crochet over the small one I mean, you're welcome to put picots on that small one as well, if you like. I just like them right there. It gives it a bit of a kick. And you know what? I'm seriously thinking of doing it. <laughs> I think I might. There. So just keep going all the way through. This, this particular border will actually pull if you keep doing this. So you, when you wash and block it, you really have to give it a tug and pin it down. I'll just show you one more. Uh, one, two, three, and there's your fourth one right in there. One, two, three, Pico. Oops. And this is why I say it's more for the professional crocheters out <laughs> there. I mean, newbies, if you want to take a risk at trying this, I'll show you the stitch properly next week if you want. But I need to know from everyone if they want this extra added border otherwise I won't do it okay because I've taken photos of the blanket the way it is now with the white but have a look at that doesn't it look gorgeous I know but it will pull because it's not really made for that okay I just wanted to try it so that you can have a good look at it <laughs> how gorgeous is that stitch I know right I'm seriously thinking of doing one next week <laughs> sorry guys anyway that that I'm not going to do it today okay because that's not the border the border was just this giving yourselves a nice little wave so guys that is it for this blanket now let's have a quick look see where did I join it yours truly I accidentally weaved in my blue tail ends and I do apologize I said I was going to weave it in with you and I didn't so what we're going to do I'll show you how to weave in that these two ends here and you can work from this okay now this is the, oh my, I don't know how that, look at that, look at that. I couldn't even tell you how that happened. Wow. <laughs> Just give it a cut. Find your sewing, darning, weaving needle, thread it and get ready to weave in this end. Okay. All right. Now this end here, both this, these ends for this corner is tricky. With your blue end, which would have been here on another corner you could have just got two of those ends and weaved one sewed one down into here and weaved it backward and forward there mm, sorry and the other one you could have actually sewn in here and weaved it into there okay I'm sorry I forgot that I said I was going to show you <laughs> and I already weaved it in so this one here now this one here because it's only the one single crochet stitch we probably could have started in the corner but never mind Weaving that through there is really difficult. If you wanted to, you could go through the stitch. You could keep weaving it in through there if you like, but I actually go through that stitch right there right, and very gently pull it up. And then I come down into, um, by the way, I'm sewing from the back. This is the back side of the work. And how you can tell, once again, um, if these little Vs are looking at you, that's the front. When you look at them this way and they're going that way, that's the back, all right? So you just find another stitch and bring it down. And don't pull so tightly because that'll just go like that. And you don't want that. Oh, I've just done that. <laughs> I didn't want to do that. Okay, so you're going down and down into a stitch like that. And just splitting 
your stitch or going through the threads if that helps like that you're just going through each thread it's so actually weaving it into a stitch there now it's there so now you can actually pop it in there right through there making sure you can't see it in front can't see the needle in front yeah pop that through right there and just weave backward and forward don't again don't pull too tight or you're going to pull your work it's going to be tugging at your work turn it over so you want to get excited because i'm finishing my blanket i'm starting to shake every time i finish something <laughs> i get all shaky <laughs> it's just habit and then go back again why because i'm a stickler you don't need to <laughs> all right pop that through that is your first end all right let's have a quick look see and there you go let's re-thread your needle like that easy easy now it's the same for this thread as well you need to just pop your needle through a stitch anywhere you want that goes straight to the back yeah like that now turn your work to the towards the back and you are going to sew yourself through to this stitch and into the corner. Sew yourself. That sounds ridiculous, doesn't it? <laughs> it's not even normal. I was going to cut that, but I'm going to leave that in because <laughs> it does sound funny. Okay, so sew into that stitch right there. Any place you like, as long as you're going into the stitch. So all you're doing is making that stitch a tiny little bit thicker and you can't even see it. It's not extremely thick so it won't ever be noticed at all but you can't even tell that i've done that yeah all right now we are here I'm going to go into that stitch for a minute like that so you're now officially at the bottom and all you need to do is pop your thread inside all those stitches and weave 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 just be careful with this one because this one here is all in one stitch you might accidentally weave into the blue here so just be careful all right perfect yes Pull that in, pull that in, pull that through. Hello. Well, I, yeah, I'm pulling it in as well. Don't pull too tight or that stitch is going to curl up on you. And now you go back the other way. Like so. Oh, it's nice and thick, this. Again, being careful where you are putting your needle because you might accidentally put your needle up here somewhere and, and pull the thread. You don't want that. Okay, well, like that. <laughs> All right, so just pull that thread there. I think two is enough because we've gone down once and well, a few times, once or twice in those stitches. There. Have a quick look-see. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Now, guys, you are actually, if you think about it, you are officially finished your blanket. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Um, what can I say? <laughs> it has been a while since we first started the blanket. Now, this blanket, I just popped it over the couch and never did the border and I do apologize the border is done now as opposed to if we decide to do <laughs> that single crochet row in blue the reason I say that is look at all the blue I have left check it out oh, I can't get it in the camera there um, and this is how much white I have left so or cream or whatever color you want to call it so there you go there you go now I will um Take in whatever you would like to do. If you want to do that border, please leave a comment in the comment section down below. In the meantime, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, do all those gorgeous things that you guys do so well. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, when you do subscribe, click a little button that says to receive all videos because there's so much coming up, guys, over the next few weeks. And in fact, I'm not even sleeping well because I'm working too hard. <laughs> <laughs> so to get a lot of those tutorials out to you so thank you so much for watching guys and all i can say right now is <laughs> ciao for now